Okay, so a lot of you've been asking how am I getting on with the massive bubble algae issue that I had in this little Red Sea Max Nano. Not so long ago, I've done a video, it was a really big issue. Uh, clusters of it literally hanging everywhere in this little tank. Um, we tried a couple of emerald crabs, they picked about with it, but it was growing faster than they, they were eating it. Uh, so it would have ended up being a massive, massive problem in this tank if I overtook everything. Um, so what we decided to do, this was eight weeks ago, is use a product called Vibrant. And like I say, yeah, it was eight weeks ago that we started that treatment. We decided to go with the, the highest and the heaviest dose possible, which is uh, every three days. So we've been dosing two mil of Vibrant every three days for eight weeks. Now, if you watched the previous video, you'll appreciate the fact that this was a big issue in this tank and it was it was literally everywhere. Directly looked in the tank, it's just there's clusters of hundreds and thousands of green bubble algae everywhere. So I'm going to show you inside the tank now. This is eight weeks. Um, the first sort of week to 10 days of dosing Vibrant, I thought, oh, this is going to be gone in a couple of weeks because within 10 days, all, a lot of the bubbles are sort of turning a frosty clear colour uh, and disappearing. But then after 10 days, it sort of subsided and I started seeing new bits sort of grow here and there and it, it slowed right down with uh, the frosting of the bubbles. Sort of week two, week three, it's just sort of about the same, little bits gone, but thinking I might have to up the dose maybe a bit, but I think, you know, two mil every three days is quite a bit for this little system. And you have to be careful with your nutrients, your nitrates and your phosphates really drop with it because it's a source of carbon. Um, so my solution to that was just feed the tank as heavy as possible. Um, lots of reefroids, lots of frozen food and lots of uh, new life spectrum pellets. Uh, as much as I could really and um, just to try and keep nutrients up and it actually did help the system because I got my nitrates and phosphates up to yeah, nitrates about 5 and my phosphates about 0 0.05 and the coral was definitely responded well but yeah, so you have to be careful with the environment with uh, watching nutrients so this is 8 weeks and we are pretty much I'm glad to say I'll show you all the bits that I sh showed you on the last video it's virtually, I'd say, 95 to sort of 97 percent gone. It was literally everywhere I'm filming here. It was hanging off everything. And what happens? Is it just turns clear, and then the emerald crabs sort of pick it off. It all just sort of disappears. This side was really bad, and you can sort of see remnants of a few bubbles here and there. But there's a good patch. They just sort of turn clear and disappear. So it's, now it's a case of it's quite hard to spot a bubble. So I reckon within the next two weeks, it would be completely eradicated. So does Vibrant work? Yes, it does. Amazing stuff. Say so I tackled it solely to, to, to sort this problem and it's done that for me. And recently my son, Corey, if you follow his channel, he recently sort of had dinos rear its head in his tank we decided to use vibrant to try and tackle it and within a week it was virtually gone so if you've got any issues with bubble algae hair algae dino cyano you know give vibrant a go it's quite expensive but i'm quite confident in saying that it will sort the problem out i'm going to continue to use vibrant i think as well on the new tank just on its lowest dose, sort of, I think every couple of weeks, um, just to keep things at bay. So yeah, I thought I'd just start update you guys with uh, what's been going on with that, because it's been a while, say eight weeks, and that problem is sorted. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll catch you in the next one.